Hey guys, got home from work today, had a really cool package from Victor. His uh, username is VDE. Uh, he sent me all kinds of European locks. He sent me a, quite a challenging Abus lock. This is indeed what he called the challenge lock. He sent me a Bosnian lock. When I lived in Bosnia, I saw Titans all over the place. Uh, he sent me an evil lock, and this also is a challenge lock. Quite an evil looking keyway there. All the keys, I think, are mummied up like this, and, and I understand why. He also wanted me to see if we couldn't uh, make a bump key for this EVA, so he sent me a blank to try that out on. Uh, he sent me a Bulgarian lock. The keys are sealed inside of this. Uh, looks like he's got it taped with his uh, initials there. Taped up. He asked me in the letter not to look at it. And how easy am I? And we're going to find out about that one. But what I want to talk about now is this one. This is a cross lock and I doesn't say where this finale is made. TX709 doesn't say made in Spain or anything like that, so probably probably China, uh, maybe South America, hard to say. But I wanted to talk about a tool, a new tool. I've got another one here. This is an Airmex. I bought this one when I was down in South America. So this one, I believe, is made in Colombia. It might even be made in Mexico. I'm really not sure. Again, weird keyway. This is really heavy duty, all hardened steel. This is a lock of choice to lock up motorcycles when I was down in, uh, uh, in Colombia. What I really want to talk about are these, these uh, called Zeiss locks or cross locks. And there's actually a, a tool that you can buy off of one of the, like DH Gate or one of those. Here's, a, I don't know, several from several different manager, makers. Some of these are GoSo, some are No Name. Anyway, they all work pretty much the same. Uh, you have a little plunger and then on the end are four different little prongs that stick out, all made from hardened steel and it kind of looks like a diamond, so four diamonds in there. And it's got, let me pull, retract it there, it also has these little teeth so you can tension the lock. And then when you put it in and then you kind of push the plunger in and out, this one's a little bit stiff, and it'll rake all four of those locks at the same time while maintaining tension. A couple little tricks, let me show you the Air Max. This one's a little, this one's a little tougher than most. Let me get the vise in here. By the way, he sent me some balls, and that would be my chocolate balls from Austria. I guess he figured I, I do love chocolate, and I need balls. So, balls of chocolate, perfect match. Anyway, we got an Air Max here. It is locked, high quality lock ball bearing, and on these uh, picks, this again is a Goso, you'll notice there's some moving parts on here. You got the plunger, obviously, but the shaft is also threaded. It moves up and down on the threads, and you'll notice I can retract it and the tension bars stick out a little further and the way that we like to do this you put it you retract the screwed end all the way you put it into the lock well first you gotta find one that fits and this one kinda of fits kinda of squeezes in there once you get it in there you're shoved up against the first four pins and that's too far because now you've got them under tension so what we'll do We'll just tighten down this little screw until it touches the face of the lock here. And then just give it an extra, I don't know, eighth of a turn, maybe quarter of a turn. And that'll pull those teeth back off of those first four pins. So now, by touching this piece, got to get everything framed here. By touching this piece, we're actually tensioning the core. And the tensioning tool is not riding up against those first four pins. So what I'm going to do with my left hand, I'm going to tension it. And then take the right hand and just kind of plunge it in and out, and hopefully at some point we get an open. Now this is a lock that does have security pins, and we just opened it with a few plunges of this lock, so or with this pick. Let's try another one. Let's try the finale. I have not opened it. In fact, I haven't even looked at the key. I should show you the key. I guess there's the Airmex. 16 pins inside of there. We raked it open in, I don't know, 30 seconds. This is the finale. Also, it has 16 pins. So the designers of these type of locks, they don't depend really so much on security pins. They depend on the sheer number of pins and the difficulty in tensioning it. But if you happen to have one of these Chinese tools, which are very cheap, all we do, we retract it, put it on the face, all the way to the face, and then one quarter turn, put a little tension on it, and voila. That's how easy it is, fellas, to open these Zeiss locks using these Chinese-made 
tools. These are not very durable, I have to be honest with you. That's why you see so many different makes. I routinely break them, but you just buy two sets, keep an extra. When you break one, I just order another one. Great tools, they work fan on these locks fantastically. These locks are, are great as long as no one has those tools. If they got them and you can buy them for less than $20, the locks are crap. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal, and don't go steal any motorcycles now that I've shown you how to do it. There's a real severe penalty in China. I'm warning you.